Michael here, and this is going to be the unboxing of the Crucial BX200 SSD. Um, I bought this for my laptop because it has a very slow hard drive in it, and I want it to speed things up. So let's get started. I got this really overkill knife here. I'm just going to put it on its back. Open that up. So here there's a little anti-static bag with the SSD inside. Just peel this. And there it is. It's about your average laptop size drive, two and a half inch. Just put that there. Also comes with this bracket here. I think it was a seven and a half millimeter to nine millimeter bracket in case your um, drive is a little bit bigger. And also, it comes with a key here to, um, I won't show the key, but it just comes with a, a serial number for Cronus True Image HD, which is a cloning software. So I'm going to start setting this up and I'll show you guys. So before we begin with the actual setup, I just want to see how fast this thing actually boots up because it has a very slow drive in it. And I just want to see how much faster the SSD would be. So I got a timer here and we're going to test it to see how fast it boots. So let's go. Gonna put in this stuff here. I pause the timer. for all the icons to show up. Okay, so that's about two minutes and 10 seconds, but then it also needs time to kind of warm up because it's very slow on the startup. So I'm just gonna show you guys the actual speed of this thing. All right, next we are going to do a speed test of the actual drive itself. So, this is 750 gig Hitachi hard drive, 5400 RPM, so it's relatively slow. This is also a Sony Vio S series laptop from 2012. It has a very bad build quality, but the, as you know, the Canadian dollar is very bad now, so it's very expensive to buy a new laptop, so I'm just gonna try and make this one last as long as it can. So anyways, let's start the test. So we decided to skip ahead because it was taking a long time as you can see, it has 37 megabyte per second uh, read speeds and 67 megabyte per second write speeds. So as you can see, this is a pretty slow hard drive and I'm really happy to be replacing it. And also, while I was cutting this part out, I also downloaded the Acronis True Image HD cloning software, so I am cloning this drive. Um, it's not too much of a problem for me, but this drive is 240 gigs as the one in my actual laptop is 750 gigs. I don't mind actually that much because I only used about 100 of it because I don't put that much on this laptop anymore since I have a desktop to go with it now. So anyways, let's get that started. Okay, now that I have the software set up, we're gonna go to set up disk. I'm just gonna go to the cloning thing here. All right, so I already have it connected. I have a USB to SATA cable here that I'm just going to be using. So we're going to do automatic. Uh, pick the source disk. It is this Hitachi hard drive. Next. Now 
And now to pick the target disc is this one. It says by Micron Corp. That is the one. So will we transfer this? Yes, we will. Proceed. All right, so after you hit proceed, it will shut down and restart into its own software where it begins cloning to the SSD. Uh, you can actually use this software with any type of drive, whether it's hard drive to hard drive, SSD to SSD, SSD to hard drive, doesn't matter. It works with anything. So it boots into its own software and this process will probably take a long time because this is a very slow hard drive. So I'm going to do another cut and I'll be back when this is finished. So that cloning process actually took a long time. There's actually a hiccup in the whole process where an error occurred so I had to restart it all. So that took almost over two hours with this really slow hard drive. But it's finally done so now we're going to actually put the SSD inside the laptop. And now for the moment of truth to see if it actually worked. I'm just going to boot into the BIOS first just to make sure it worked. Okay, well, seems like it's booting in the right place. I've never used this BIOS really that in depth, so yeah. So now we're gonna boot into Windows. Okay, and that booted a lot faster than before. Just gonna mute that.
Okay, that was much faster than the old hard drive. Um, I actually heard reviews on this thing that it wasn't necessarily a very good SSD, but I got a good deal on it, and the way I see it, anything is better than that really slow hard drive. So let's just do a speed test with Crystal Disk Mark one more time. Okay, yeah, there you see, 220 gigs. And everything is so snappy. It's amazing to see this computer running so fast. So we're gonna do one more test and we'll end off the video. All right, so the test is finished. As you can see, it is a lot faster than the other one. It's still not necessarily fast by SSD standards. Uh, maybe it's because this is SATA 2, I'm not sure. I don't think it is, but it could be. Also because it's on startup, that's also what it could be. I can also try to optimize it. But hopefully it, it will be a lot faster than the hard drive. Uh, seeing it boot up and opening programs, it has been a lot faster. But we'll see. Anyways, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.